guys, my name is Anne. This is my very first yoga video, video here in Nicaragua. I hope you enjoy it. And before getting started, this is a hermit crab from very close up. I appreciate all life. Hola. <laughs> So we sit in a comfortable seated position, eyes closed and awareness open. Our awareness goes beyond our thoughts. It's about being aware without judgment on how you're sitting and where you're sitting. Feel the support of the earth. Feel the movement of the breath in the body and start lengthening your breathing to connect more profoundly with the here and now. Feel how the breath is moving all the way down in the body and lengthening the spine. And on an exhale, you allow the physical body to release more and to feel how you're seated here. Taking one more full inhalation here. Breathing out completely. Now the breath's going to move the body, inhaling, we're going to reach up with our arms overhead, looking towards the thumbs. Exhaling, we're going to bring the hands to heart center. Two more times, inhaling, opening the chest, arms go up. Exhaling, bringing the hands to the heart center. Inhale, open your arms, look up. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Now we move into all fours position, hands and knees with the fingers spread wide and a strong connection between you and the earth. Opening the chest on your next in breath, rounding the spine, pressing away from the floor, out breath. Two more times, inhaling, open. Exhaling, press away. Last one. Inhaling, opening the chest. Exhaling, rounding the spine, pressing yourself all the way from the floor. And then we return to a center and put our knees a bit back, connecting to the core and lowering down into low plank all the way onto the belly. Connect into the lower belly, lifting the chest. Release the support of the hands and allow the chest bone to be lifted away from the belly button on an inhalation. On our next exhale, we release, slide our hands a bit back and move into Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Exhaling, contracting the pelvic floor, moving into your downward facing dog. This is about focus. This focus here lies in lengthening the spine. So feel how you can breathe into the whole body. And on your next exhale, you walk your feet on the outer edges of the hands and you lower down in Malasana, Yogi Squat. Breathing in here, exhaling, forward folding, stretch, straightening the legs, dropping the head. Now stand up tall, reach with the arms overhead as you inhale. Press into both feet, hands to heart center, exhale. Two more, inhaling, bring the arms up, maybe look up. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Last one, inhaling, arms overhead. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Just taking a few moments here to connect to the breath, to feel where and how you're standing. Then on your next inhalation, we take Suraya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A, bringing the arms up. On our next inhalation, arms overhead. On your exhalation, you forward fold, fold forward in Uttanasana. Lifting the chest, Urdhva Uttanasana, stepping or jumping back 
into Chaturanga Dandasana, low plank. Open the chest, inhale, look up. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Few moments here. Your next exhale, you walk your feet gently towards the hands. You lift the chest as you inhale and release completely. Exhale. Standing up tall, looking up maybe. Hands to heart center. Release. One more. Inhale, arms go up. Exhaling, Uttanasana, forward fold. Urdhva Uttanasana, lift the chest. Chaturanga Dandasana with or without knees lower down in your low plank. Opening the chest, look up. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhaling, jumping or stepping your feet to the front. Lifting the chest as you inhale. Releasing completely. Exhale. Standing up tall, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. We do one more. Listen to your breath. Let the breath guide the movement. Just one full breath here. And then you step or you jump to the front of the mat. Urdhva Uttanasana. Uttanasana. Lifting the arms up. Inhale. Exhaling. Hands to heart center. We're going to touch the floor and we're going to lower down in Utkatasana in our chair pose. Breathe here. Have the strength in the legs. The softness in the upper body. Full inhale here. For, forward fold on the next hill. Lift your chest as you inhale. Move into high plank, shoulders over wrist and stay. On your next exhalation, you lower down into Chaturanga Dandasana, low plank. Slowly, slowly. Moving into Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. All the way into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Both feet together, lifting the right leg up for three breaths, squaring the hips and breathe. And we bring our right knee to our nose, step the right foot in between the hands, come all the way up into high lunge, arms overhead, inhale, release the arms, hands to heart center, exhale. Two more, inhaling, arms go up. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Last one, inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, put your hands down onto the floor. Lift your chest away from the belly, inhale. And try to straighten that right leg, exhale. Then on your next inhalation, you try to twist to the right. Opening the chest area and breathing here. And we put our right hand down, bend the right leg on an inhalation, stepping into high plank, moving through a vinyasa on our next exhalation. From down dog, we lift our left leg again, this time breathing deep in, left knee to the nose, left foot in between the hands, right knee onto the floor, arms go up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Third and last time, arms go up in. Put your hands down onto the floor. Open the chest as you inhale and intend to lengthen the left leg. Lengthen or straighten. Reaching with the left arm up, inhale. Putting that left hand slowly down onto the floor. Exhale. Bending the left leg. Inhale. Vinyasa. Or step into downward facing dog.
on our next exhalation we jump or we step to the front of our mat lifting the chest as we inhale releasing on an exhale sit on your chair or stand up tall inhale on an exhale we twist to the right hands to heart center hips squared look over the right shoulder if possible bring the weight in the right foot trying to step our left foot back into Parivrita and Janasana twisted lunge On your inhale, you return to center, bringing both arms up. Exhaling, stepping into your downward facing dog or moving through a vinyasa, whatever you prefer. Listen to the body, not to the thoughts. The body knows exactly what to do. Taking a full in-breath here. On your next out breath, you step or you jump to the front of the mat. Lift the chest, inhale, release, exhale. Standing up tall on an inhalation, twisting to the left this time, bending both legs into Parivrita Utkatasana. Shifting our weight in the left foot, trying to get a pull. Fastly move your right leg back. Find your balance. Breathe deep. Inhale, bringing both arms up, looking up towards the hands. On your next exhalation, you move to another vinyasa or you step in your downward facing dog. Full in breath, out breath you step or you jump to the front of the mat, lifting the chest, inhale, exhaling, release, stand up tall, arms overhead, inhale, exhaling, hands to heart center, feel the feet onto the floor and reach from the strong connection with the arms all the way up on your next inhalation. Exhaling, bending forward into Uttanasana. Lifting the chest, inhale. Move into your low plank and stay. Pressing back up into high plank. Lowering down low plank. Shift your chest forward, inhale, open. Exhale, downward facing dog, feet together. Right leg goes up, inhale. Right foot in between the hands. Hands to heart center, inhale, twisting to the right again, left elbow to the right knee, looking towards that right foot and trying to step our feet together. Step that left foot back, bringing the arms up, inhale, exhaling, moving with the weight into the right foot, trying to Lift the left leg into Virabhadrasana tree. We have few breaths here. Don't mind you falling down. Don't worry. Accept the reality. Then we move into a high plank on our inhale. Moving through a vinyasa. Or moving into down dog. Left leg goes up on an inhale. Stepping our left foot in between the hands. Hands to heart center, inhale. Twisted lunge to the left. Deepen your lunge while looking at the left foot and trying to step that right foot next to the left. Stepping all the way back, shooting it back. Moving into lunge, straightening the left leg, arms go up. Shift away into your left foot and try to move gradually with one connection from the crown of the head to the right heel. Feel the connection to the earth on your exhale, lower down the hands and step into your high plank or down dog, vinyasa or skip the vinyasa. Then we walk our feet back forward, lifting the chest as we inhale 
releasing on an exhale stand up tall inhale hands to heart center now we're gonna sit onto our chair again touching the floor lowering down all the way into Utkatasana maybe lowering with or without the help of the hands if you have knee injury please use the hands moving into Navasana the boat make sure to lengthen the spine maybe straighten the legs a bit more but keep on breathing accepting where you are now and staying there for a few more deep breaths last one bringing the hands to the knees and rocking back and forward trying to come to our squat position again from our squat you stay here maybe you add a little twisting feel what you need here everything with ease putting our hands all the way onto the floor we're gonna lift off into our bakasana or stay here lift the chest stay here in squat bakasana maybe straighten the arms a bit and jump back or step back for one vinyasa or downward facing dog and from there on we're gonna walk forward and come to a seated posture straightening the left leg bending the right twisting to the right in marichasana lengthen the spine as you inhale deepen the twist on the next exhale And inhale gives you extra length and on the next exhalation we come out of this posture slowly switching legs twisting to the left you can bind or you can keep the support really rising up in an in on an inhalation twisting on your exhale Finish your last full in-breath, lengthening the spine. Exhale, gently release both legs, go forward. Now we're gonna place our hands behind the shoulders, lifting only the chest, or maybe lifting the hips as well. Only drop the head in Purvottanasana when it feels comfortable, opening the front side of the body. Then we gently sit down, we roll down, and we bring our right knee to our chest maybe you even straighten the leg even lift the left leg whatever you feel supta hasta parangustasana and we bend our right leg put our right ankle over the left knee and relax in lying pigeon recline pigeon allow the breath to become more soft Feel the body supported by the earth. Breathe into the tension. Releasing the legs and switching to the other sides. Choose the op option that suits you best, where you can feel the stretch without forcing yourself. Then we move into reclined pigeon, other side bringing the left ankle over the right knee taking few breaths here softly pulling the right knee towards the chest on our exhale and then as you're ready we straighten both legs both arms towards the ceiling towards the air wherever you are allow the whole body to become heavy onto the floor and take your time to move into your final posture shavasana stay here as long as you like and enjoy the sound of silence inside and around that's presence that is awareness